Hello guys, welcome to Job Ready Trainings. Today we are going to discuss questions related to polymorphism, and these questions can be asked in your interview. I have a candidate with me, and now we are going to discuss the questions. So the first question is, what is polymorphism? Can you tell me? Yes, uh, I can tell you what is polymorphism. Polymorphism is an object-oriented programming concept that refers to the ability of a method or object to take on multiple forms. Let's have a look at the example. Uh, in the below example, you can see animal dog equal to new dog and animal cat equal to new cat. Here, the animal can be referred as a uh, dog or animal can be referred as cat. This is known as polymorphism uh, in any programming language. Okay, great. Uh, do you know the different types of polymorphism? Yes, there are two types of polymorphism in Java. One is your compile time polymorphism, and there is also a runtime polymorphism, which is supported in Java. Okay, so what is mean by compile time polymorphism? Compile time polymorphism is achieved using method overloading in Java. Method overloading is where you have the methods with the same name, but uh, you can change the number of parameters or you can change the data types of the uh, method. So let's let's uh, have a look at the example. In the first example, we have the method add with two parameters, which are of integer type, integer a comma integer b. Just below that, we have a method add with three parameters. So this results in the methods with the same name, but different number of parameters. This is the first case. Let's have a look at the second case, which is uh, the multiply method. Here we have a multiply method with two parameters of the type double, double A comma double B. And just below that we have a multiply method with uh, type int A comma int B. So we can achieve compile time polymorphism either by changing the number of parameters or by changing the data types of the parameters. That is compile time polymorphism in Java. Good. So what is meant by runtime polymorphism? Runtime uh, polymorphism is achieved using method overriding in Java. Here, let's have a look at the example. Uh, we have a class known as animal and there's a method uh, called as shout, public void shout. So this belongs to animal. This shout method belongs to class animal. Now, just below that, we can have a look at uh, the dog class, which extends to animal. And it also has the method shout with exact signature that is present in your animal class. So this means we are also overriding the shout method in the dog class. So how does uh, how do we achieve runtime polymorphism? Let's have a look at the example. Uh, when we do animal a equal to new animal and we call a dot shout. So this will call animal class shout method because on the right hand side we created animal object. And if you have a look at uh, uh, the below statement where animal dog equal to new dog we create the object of type dog. And after that we do dog dot shout. So this will call uh, the dogs shout method. So this is how we achieve runtime polymorphism in Java. Uh, runtime polymorphism is where depending upon the object that we create, uh, the method of that object is called at runtime. So that is the reason it is called as runtime polymorphism or dynamic uh, method binding. Okay, I understood what is meant by compile time polymorphism and runtime polymorphism. Now, can you tell me why method overloading is not possible by just changing a return type of method? Uh, yes, method overloading is not possible just by changing the return type of the method because of ambiguity. Uh, let's have a look at the example. Here we have two methods. One is uh, add integer x comma y and uh, below that we have uh, integer add integer x comma y but the first one returns int and the second one returns double but the main problem is here when i try to call add method i do object dot add and i pass two parameters which is 10 comma 20 here the compiler is not able to understand if i am calling the first method that returns int or the second method that returns double that is the reason compiler gets confused and due to ambiguity compiler comes up with the error that ambiguous method call that is the reason we cannot have, uh, uh, we cannot do method overloading just by changing the return type of, of the method. Perfect. Can you tell me some differences between method overloading and method overriding in Java? Okay. Uh, there are several differences uh, in method overloading and method overriding. Method overloading is a compile time 
of feature uh, it is checked by the compiler and method overriding is the runtime feature uh, provided by the java method overloading can be done in the same class or can be done in the subclass but method overloading can only be done in the subclass so in conclusion method overloading is a compile time feature that is performed by the compiler and method overriding is a runtime feature uh, that happens during actual uh, runtime of your program okay perfect can we overload main method uh, yes we can overload main method uh, but jvm will always call the main method which has uh, the below signature which is public static void main and it accepts uh, string array arguments so even if you overload your main method jvm will act Really call this method, which has exact signature as public static void main, and it accepts your uh, string array arguments. Thank you. Uh, it was all about polymorphism. Hello, everyone. So, if you are a fresher and looking out for a job in IT or software development, you can connect us on job ready trainings twenty two at directgmail dot com. Thank you. Bye bye. Thanks, everyone. Bye bye.